glasses down to your new end of your nose. Oh, all day I'm gonna wash dishes. There, all your coffee cups are clean. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video. I'm gonna get Cindy while she's working as normal. Today uh, we are leaving the Florida Keys and we are heading to uh, Richmond, Virginia for uh, family time. So, but we're not taking a rig all the way. So we're leaving here and we're going to Daytona and we're gonna drop the rig in Daytona. So today's video is gonna be about how do we prepare to leave the rig for an extended period of time. Wash it. Start by washing all the dishes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to show you some of the things that we're going to do and kind of the considerations. I mean, it's not difficult, but if you're new to RVing, this might be helpful. Uh, so we're in the process of packing up so we can get going, and then we're going to share some more information when we get there. So we just got to Bishop's RV Center. And this is uh, just south of Daytona. And we are gonna be leaving the rig here for the next week and a half. Uh, great, great guy, he's super nice. Uh, he's charging us 150 bucks for the basically two weeks. And, and the best part of all is that 50 amp, 50 amp hookup. Uh, not that we will need 50 amps because we're not going to be living in it, but it will at least keep the batteries charged and um, ready to go. And then that way, if the heat needs to come on because it's supposed to get super cold here in a couple of days, and he, uh, he buried my cable for me, that way nobody would uh, run over it. And just super nice guys. So this, this seems like a really good, really good option. So we're going to do a few things to get the rig ready. I'm going to spray it uh, with some home defense. That's one of the things that we do just because Florida is notorious for ants and red ants and all that other good stuff. So I'm going to spray that and uh, we're going to do some other things inside. Then I have our ring cameras too that I'm going to make sure that we set up. Uh, so more to come on all that. But for tonight, we're going to get things packed up. We're going to go grab some dinner because we're starving. And, uh, and then we'll get back on the RV. Okay. God, I look tired. We do look tired. We've been traveling all day. Rude. So what do we need while we are away from the rig? Everything. Uh, can we narrow it down? Because the truck doesn't have that much space. Now, of course, this is going to be different for every single person and every single family. Mm -hmm. So this is just what we need for us. Mm -hmm. And as YouTubers, we need our computer gear and our hard drives and the cameras and the batteries and all of those fun things. Right. So if you know me, you know that I love to travel with my house and leaving my house is a big no-go. It's, no it's, all it's a big no-go. Um, so I try not to leave it as often as possible, but we're going to go back to Virginia from Florida just for a week. And then we're turning around and coming right back to Florida. Right. We're coming right back to the same area where we're dropping the rig. So it didn't make sense. Right. So carry it all the way. It didn't make sense to keep, to, to drive it all the way there. When, when we get there, we're staying with my parents anyways. Right. Um, so there was no sense of taking it and just keeping it in a parking lot or a friend's house just for the week. So, we have to drop the rig, which means we have to pack to take stuff with us for the week. Right. And in case you don't know, we're at Bishop's RV Center. Yes. He charged us 150 bucks, so I'm assuming $75 a week. Yeah, because we're leaving it for, and, we're and technically has, leaving it for two weeks, but um, we're only staying with my parents for a week. And that's 50 amp hookup. That's going to keep the batteries nice and juiced up. Yes. Which is great. And he's letting us boondock 
tonight. Right. Um, before we even leave super nice tomorrow guy. morning. Super nice so, guy. Yeah, so he was super nice, really accommodating, and didn't, didn't mind us um, staying in nope. the RV tonight because we weren't going to be in the way. So let's get going with our list because everybody's list is going to be different. Families are different sizes. People have different needs. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. And this is going to be a little bit different too because you think leaving in the rig in Florida, you're good from a temperature perspective, but that Arctic blast coming in is going to drop the temperatures at night, um, at least two nights below freezing. So yes. now I got to drain all the water out of the rig in the morning. We're going to um, make it as winterized as possible. Yeah, I can't, I don't have any freeze, so I'm not going to winterize, I can't winterize it. Uh, but what I can do is drain the low points, drain the uh, the fresh tank, and then run the pump until it just pushes air through the lines. Yes, and and, and um, we can also leave the propane on so that we can turn on the furnace from afar if we need to. Mm -hmm. um, Which I typically wouldn't recommend because obviously you want to be there if something's going to happen. Right. Uh, but in this case we need to keep the rig from freezing but i will say i did clean out the refrigerator as much as possible mm -hmm. um, washed all the dishes i think you've seen that earlier because harold recorded me mm -hmm. for some reason washing dishes so, so wash everything dry everything you know put it away as much as you possibly can before dropping the rig off because you don't want to come home to stinky dishes or a stinky trash can mm -hmm. or whatever michaela already dumped the the bathroom trash cans and all of that good stuff so we're good to go there. Um, we do have this dry bag that we're putting the electronic stuff in that Harold recorded a few minutes ago. So you'll, my, you'll see that. My clothes are going to try to go in there too, right? Yeah, I'm going to see how much of his clothes I can get put in there. But since we're going back to where it's cold, we have to actually take blue jeans and socks and sweaters and things like that. Not cool. Because... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't worn socks and shoes in a month. Yes. Um, like honestly, I wash clothes every week and Michaela has not had not one pair of socks in the basket. So she has been flip flops. The dogs? Um, what? the dog stuff. So I always, always, always have a copy of their shot records and their, um, of course their rabies certificates with me at all times. And then we're taking some of the, some of the stuff as far as food because he is gluten free. Yeah, so, food's always tricky. So I always take what I can. Um, we'll probably hit the store while we're there too. Yeah, with his food so that we make sure that he can eat what he wants. Checklist thing, make sure it's locked up. Get all our stuff, make sure it's locked up, make sure it's ready for the cold. No water. No water. Um, I think that's about it for us. We put a yeah. lock on the kingpin. Um, one yeah. Of the little circular yeah. locks. So, we have one of those for the kingpin. So we kingpin. can't just come hook up to it. <laughs> yep, so that people can't just hook up to it and go. I think we're going to try to leave by, I like to leave by 7 tomorrow morning. He told the kids 6. That's so that, you know, so if I tell can, them 6, so we, we can, can get. actually yeah. leave by 7. No, if I tell them 6, we can get out of here by 10. Oh my goodness. Anyways, if it was if it was just me and her, like say six, and we get out here by six fifteen. I also am taking a pillow with us because Nick had an extra one that he doesn't use. So the, just a, a tip: if you're going back to your home area where your storage unit is or where your the a house is that you typically leave stuff, purge your RV before you go. That way you can take what you want to leave with you. Come back, start and, fresh, and then come back a little. little lighter um to start fresh so we have a, a, a book bag full of like uh christmas cards and um birthday cards and things like that uh, michaela's graduation cards that she doesn't want to get rid of um and certificates and things like that that we've earned along the way um and so i accumulate those throughout the the time frame and then we put them all in a, in a bag and take the whole bag with us to put in the file cabinet He's tired. Tired already just thinking about it. It was a long drive today. Yeah, we so we left this morning 10. and around 10 and we got here at 6.10. I told him 7 o'clock and we left at 10. <laughs> no, we were planning to leave at 10. I gotta pack your clothes for tomorrow. I'm gonna get my clothes and we gotta work on breakfast and lunch and yes. stuff. So we can just go. Yes. I'm ready so, to go. That's our goal for tonight. All right, underwear. I know we're gonna wash clothes while we're gone, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to take it. Le we're gonna be gone for five days, six days, seven. Hold on. Saturday to Saturday. We get seven, through eight, together. Nine, nine days. So that's at least twelve pairs of underwear. 
No, you need something semi nice to wear for Christmas. I have nothing. You have a polo. Look, now you got blue jeans. Surprise, I'm like. Duh, 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 duh. Blue jeans. So I'm sleeping. Morning. Morning. 700 miles to go today. Yeah, and it's uh, eight o'clock. Yes, so we were gonna leave the seven uh, transformer blue. Yeah. Um, so we were waiting for the power people to come and turn the transformer back one. So, so we could get juice so back we to the rig. Get juice back to the rig before we left because we wanted to unplug, so that when it came back one, it didn't send the surge right uh, to the RV. Which of course we can't do while we're gone. But yeah, so I, I turned the inverters down so that it's just strong enough for the fridge basically. Mm -hmm. and the furnace all the other breakers are off so it's very minimal draw for while we're gone the generator is turned to auto start in case the power goes out the batteries kick in and then the uh the generator will charge the batteries if the batteries die so we have some redundancy which is nice but we're getting ready to leave ready to go yep ready to go everything's packed yep. um kids are in the truck dogs are in the truck waiting on us waiting on us <laughs> all yeah. right yeah yeah just a little Lock my bobber, Road Pro lock, and just key lock. And what happens is when you do that, it just goes into this little groove right here. So we can, makes it harder. I don't walk much. Makes people make it harder for somebody to come hook up. Yep. Here we go. A little added security. Yes. So we just got back. What a long drive. <laughs> It was nine hours and 46 minutes of drive time. Yes. Not including stops. I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be back. I mean, when you ever look at your RV, you're like, yay! Right? Like, even Pixie's crying. We absolutely love being a family, uh, but this is our home, and you know, it's always nice to return home after vacation. Yes. So, what's going on? We can't go in the RV yet. Well, I, it's, it's good now. Um, we, we also upgraded our phones while we were gone. And so I come back and not thinking, one control, all of our watchdog. Battleborn stuff, the watchdog, <laughs> none of it's going to be connected, be, even our ring system. Everything's down. Because we have new phones well, and so I had let's to... Let's rephrase. It's not down. We just can't access it because of the new phone. I couldn't access it. But I, I got it, I got it uh, synced up now. But you had, I had to be here to get the stupid codes off the... Off the devices. Off the inverters. Yeah, but yeah. we were able to, to log back into our ring system, so we knew that we still had power mm -hmm. um, because the rings are connected to our Wi-Fi in the camper. So we knew that the Wi-Fi was still on, which means that we still had power. Right. So fridge is still good. Yep. It's been a long day. Now we got to go grocery shopping. Now we have to unpack and then go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And it's New Year's Eve. Yeah. It's been a long day. I got a headache. <laughs> I got a headache. Oh, you're whining. I am. You ready? All right, let's go unload. There's all of our stuff. So we did totes because we didn't know if it was going to rain. And as you can see, they're actually wet because it rained. Yeah, so just a tip, if you're gonna travel in the truck without a tonneau cover, um, make sure your stuff is in either waterproof totes or bags or something to that nature because you never know uh, what you're gonna hit between here and your destination. And um, we were lucky enough not to get any rain on the way up, but we ended up getting rain on almost the entire way back. So, just a tip. This is me grabbing a tote out of the back of the truck. This is me carrying a tote from the back of the truck. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, the towels were. Why? How's my glasses full? Do you look cute? That's like all the food we have in the house. You say I look cute? Right there. No, I said I look cute. Uh, Nick. Hey, McKinley, you say Gabby, be home? Yes. Hey, 
everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video and a special thank you to our Patreons listed right over here. Yes, without you guys, we could not do this. Um, if you have not considered joining yet, please do. Links down below. And our next video is recommended right below this one, so go check that out.